giving back to the community was uh, part of uh, our, our culture from the time we opened uh, Zingerman's back in 1982. And uh, so we had been doing, uh, we, and back then we had limited resources, and, uh, but we always had many, many more requests than we could accommodate. And I wanted to have a focus for our giving program so that we might be able to actually have impact in an area. And it made sense uh, to deal with a hunger relief because we were in the food business. So I was thinking about that. And one day I was reading a food magazine and there was a little sidebar article in it. And it talked about in New York City, uh, there was a group where a lot of uh, food magazines, a lot of magazines are published and there's a lot of food photography going on. A group of food photographers got together and decided to lease a van and take turns driving it around to all the photo shoots and pick up that food and drop it off at the uh, at Salvation Army. And I thought, wow, that's just a really brilliant idea. Uh, every day uh, we have uh, food that's perfectly wholesome, but for some reason it's not gonna be sold to uh, the public. And we worked really hard at not having any waste. And I thought if we did, then lots of people had that. Uh, and wouldn't that be a good idea if we tried it in our town? It was always meant to be its own freestanding, independent, ex the existing uh, nonprofit organization in the belief that others would feel freer to support it if they didn't see it as part of us, which it's not. And it's a credit to you and everybody here how great, you know, how effectively it's run and how much great work it does. And I think it's nice that we've been able to continue to contribute both financially and then also through the work of Paul and, you know, Rick and others who've been on the board and then everybody who's volunteered and, and that we can continue to support it, you know, through infrastructure. But the idea was what's happened, which is to create its own independent existence, healthy existence. What I, I had a perception that you had to jump through lots of hoops and uh, there were just so many uh, things that you had to demonstrate or prove in, in order to get the money and I didn't want to have to deal with that at all and I thought that we would just be the ones that would fund it. Uh, it or, you know, later on, not too much later on, I. I, I came to the realization that that was there was you know that was an arrogance and there was a lot of naivety in that, and that uh, if I if we wanted to actually uh, try to affect a change in a seemingly intractable social problem, that that we needed everybody's help and that everybody had a role in that, and so we, then we started to progress toward being a more professional organization. But, uh, you know, it was kind of guerrilla grassroots in the beginning and that helps get things going. Uh, you know, you start kind of doing everything before you really know what you're doing, I think helps. We never bought into the very uh, traditional conservative economic theory a la Milton Friedman that the business of business is business and we felt that uh, you earn your right to do business in the community by being a good corporate citizen and, and you do that by, by acting responsibly, uh, choosing sites responsibly, building responsibly, hiring responsibly, producing a product or delivering a service responsibly and sharing that profit responsibly with uh, the, the people who helped you uh, generate that profit and, and the community that those revenues come from. So really, uh, it wasn't something we were gonna do once we became successful. Uh, it was the cost of doing business for us. It's just as paying rent, paying insurance, paying your employees, doing giving back in, to the community uh, was part of our, our idea of, of what you do when you run a business. I would actually say it's part of why we are successful <laughs> is because of work like that. So it's fed who we are in a good way and it's fed the community figuratively and spiritually and obviously literally. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's surpassed the, the, the scope of what my vision was many, many, many years ago. Uh, that's, you know, uh, 
it's it's every it's it's a lot of people's vision now. You know, there's a there's a huge shared vision that's that's uh, shared by uh, well, you're a very very big part of it, Eileen, and, and all of the uh, people that you you know have been drawn to food gathers because of the work that you're doing. Uh, has has I, it's way past anything I could have imagined. One of those classes is called Welcome to Zimmerman's Community of Businesses and uh, you know, 32 years down the road with 600 employees and 18 partners that's still the that one class is only taught by either Ari or myself and uh, that's where we're going to focus on a bit of the history and, and really our vision for the future and our guiding principles and I certainly that's where I bring up uh, food gathers and I talk to them about it and, and what our uh, orientation is toward giving back to the community and that uh, it's you know it's very very important that they know it. Uh, it's not something that we uh, use as a marketing uh, ploy out in the public. Uh, the, those the, the public has to believe that they're getting value uh, you know for their dollar. But it's, it's, it's extremely important that the employees know that it's their work that is out there changing the lives of people in the community. And it, uh, you know, it's a, I think that you get a, a stronger commitment from somebody if they believe that that's, if they understand and believe that that's what's going on and that's the result of their work. Okay. Yeah, I just, I mean, I just, the same, I mean, I tell them the story of how it started and about Paul's idea because I think it, you know, it's the la it's one of the last things I go over in the class and so I think it's, you know, not the only one by far, but it's a really great testament, you know, to what one person with some vision and willingness to work their butt off to make it happen can make happen and, you know, anybody that's in the community knows what Food Gathers is, so like just, you know, a lot of them are 22 or whatever, so I mean, to see the scale of Food Gathers now, you know, but to remember just like Zingerman's started really small and very grassroots and just going out and doing the work towards, you know, a vision which really at that time we didn't have anything about writing visions. It was in, you know, his head or in our heads or whatever. And, you know, and to remind him, uh, you know, what we know, we donate 10% of the previous year's profit in the next year and not all of that goes to food gathers, but a pretty important amount of it does. And so just to translate for them, like, okay, even if you don't care about any other financial aspect of our organization, at the least care about the people in need because $10 more in profit means a dollar more, you know, means X number of meals. And so your work literally translates into people who have no other way to get a meal getting one and you know it's sort of the end of the class for me so it pulls it all together. <laughs>